So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. striker very dynamic on the feet so unpredictable great combination of precision and timing and bruce lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style bruce lee is nothing if not adaptable perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time this guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned extremely difficult to hit Till the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He'll be professional right now. 14 wins, one loss. He's had 63 inches tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Ruslan Leopard Magomedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Ruth, the Dragon Lee. All right, good to rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single fight UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Lee. Connects there with the punch. Just misses with the straight left hand. Good defense there. That's again the experience. Neither guy really finding their range with much consistency here early. And he connects there. Great right, he misses. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and that kick is blocked. 
Ali gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. There's a nice knee to the body. Just over three minutes now to go. He continues to circle to his right, Joe. Under three minutes remain in round one. Also, he gets clipped. Oh, he heard it. He's in trouble right now. How about that chin? Wow! to make these shots count. And he establishes full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. He's working from full mount again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning oh, here on the ground. You don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. He's got that guillotine locked in tight. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. He might be forced to tear the tap. <laughs> he got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out. So he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. He's going to win it by a tap out due to a guillotine choke. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts, and candidly thus far,